Hello everybody. I'm back with another layout. I'm doing a 12 by 12 this time. And I use the Scraptastic Club September 2014 We Will Rock You kit and add-on. So these are the two photos that I'm going to scrapbook. That's Teddy, the one that I'm holding there, and the other one is Maggie. And um, they're just figuring out how to get the treats out of that, that dog toy. So I got the title on the layout because I'm kind of slow at getting it all lined up. So I thought I'd save you the trouble of watching me fuss with all those letters. So I got that already. And then I put that green paper, I guess, um, that circular with a circular pattern on it, on, um, on white cardstock from my stash. And I sewed on that, the uh, aqua paper with, um, I used yellow for the shorter lines and then the long lines I found an orange and yellow variegated thread that I had forgotten I had and so that turned out really good because then you don't have to change the thread color so much you can just keep sewing with the same thread and get a few colors so I used the uh, cut apart card and the bottom of that card said uh, play all day but I knew I wanted to use the white die cut that says play all day so I just I, I covered the bottom of it up with the, the little tags and so that turned out pretty well and so here these little doggies they're so cute and I thought uh, it was fitting with the glasses because, you know, glasses usually mean you're smart and they were smart enough to figure out the treats, so I kind of like that. But I put a little bit of Wink of Stella. That's what I was trying to show you there when I was tilting them back and forth. I don't know how well it really showed up, but that's what I was trying to show you. I put a bit on the glasses and on the bow tie. And then I'm just getting my glue on all my dots so I can slide them into position. And that wood frame that says, I thought I think it says chroma picks. I it looked funny with the dog kind of half covering the words, so I just glued it on backwards on the page. And then this little light bulb was really cute. And I put a little bit of that clear wink of Stella that's just like a like a shimmery glitter, but it's very, very fine on the uh, on the filament. And I'm going to weigh that down with a block because the, the wood veneers are a little bit curved, and so to get it to all glue down, I just need to weigh it down. And then I'm going to use one of those fabulous arrows. I, I really like those paper clips. They're awesome. And I'm going to try and get this favorite on it, but I don't like it. So that's going to go away. And it's not going to come back and make it on this layout. And I'm going to fuss with these stars here. Get those. I've got the big one, the, the larger, largest star there. I put it on uh, dimensional foam. Oh yeah, I had a little bit of trouble with my glossy accents there. Way too much of it came out, so then I got smart and just started putting it on the star itself instead of the paper. Yeah, see, I, yeah, I do have it on dimensional foam. I'm trying to get the, the arrows going the right way on the star. Well, they're triangles, but I'd, I'd like them pointing down towards the photos. It's so tiny, it probably doesn't matter, but stuff like that bothers me sometimes. And then I s used the stamp set, that um, the solid pennant there. And those sticks, I, I cut the music note. Um, wood veneer and 
uh, just use the sticks to make flags because I don't have any really music layouts to make with it and so then I could make uh, the pendants have, you know, with a real little flag shape. So what's next? Oh yes, I've got another star for that tiny little tag down in the corner. And I'm going to get another star and then I'm going to put some enamel dots on around the page. Get those going. I, don't know, I can read the journaling here while I'm getting those dots on. I just put I, I love pulling out this game and watch you figure out how to get all the treats. You have such different approaches. So that's what I wrote on the card with the date. So I'm just going to dot these around. I really like that the, uh, the kits with the enamel dots. I like those a lot. They finish off the page nicely. Sometimes you just need a little something. So I think that that's about it. I'm just going to show you, pull the page up a little closer and try and show you a close-up version. And that's, that's about all I did for this video. Thanks for watching, guys.